Notre Dame's athletic director said last night he believes Teo is innocent, a victim, Jack Swarbrick said, of what's come to be known as catfishing. 24 Hour News 8's Teresa Mackin looked into what catfishing means and found out it's something that's happening across the country. Teresa. No matter how you feel about the Manti Teo situation, there may be something to learn from all this. We've learned the term catfish now means someone who pretends to be something they're not on Facebook or another social media site. Hey, Megan. Hi, how are you? Your voice is not at all what I expected. It's a 2010 documentary. I mean, she must be pretty awesome, at least from Facebook. All about false identities, starting online. People have been, tra been trained themselves or portraying themselves as something other than they are for generations, for centuries. But with social media, it makes it much more easy. Lieutenant Charles Cohen is the commander of the Cyber Crimes Unit for Indiana State Police. It is very difficult, particularly online, to know whether someone's using their real name, to know if they're using their real picture, to know if the story of their life is the real story of their life or someone else's. And it's not only online dating sites, Facebook or Twitter, where people should watch for red flags. It can happen on career networking sites, in business. But we can use those tools as well to find out what they're up to. Jeff Stanger used to work for a nonprofit and now has a consulting business specializing in social media. A simple Google search can bring up a lot on a person. When you called me up and wanted to do an interview, I Googled you. In all seriousness, it's worth the reminder when using the internet, check out everything you click on. And the best uh, advice really is trust your own intuition. If something seems wrong, uh, if your gut tells you it's wrong, maybe it is wrong. And Stanger told me a couple stories about using the Internet to find out more about people. He said when a wealthy donor claimed to come to town, he simply Googled his name and found out in about five minutes that wasn't so. Now, if you're hoping to use the Internet, of course, as we all do, make sure you look for some red flags when you're talking to different people on the Internet. Take a look at this. Look for inconsistencies. Is something just too good to be true? Also, if someone is asking you to do things on their behalf or asking you to send money, that's always going to raise a red flag. Debbie and Eric? So don't be too trusting, I guess, is part of the lesson here. Absolutely. All right. Thanks, Teresa.